Origins Worksheet Query Dialog, formerly known as the Extract Worksheet Data, allows you to locate data in the worksheet based on a user-specified condition. To open the dialog, select Worksheet, Worksheet Query. The columns on the left list all the available columns in the active worksheet. You can right-click to check all or uncheck all. You can also choose the information to display for each column. If we want to show the first value, we can do that as well. After selecting the columns interested in querying, then you need to enter an if test based on one or more of these columns. These columns need to be moved into the alias list box. Let's select height, hold down the left mouse key, and drag to select weight, and then move those both over into our alias box. And then let's add a condition first for height. So I select height, hit the Add button. I want to choose when height is greater than or equal to 150. So I click OK. I can press the Test Selective True button. And then in the worksheet, it will highlight those rows where that condition is met. Let's go ahead and add. So hit the and button first, add the condition where weight is greater than 50. Now again, if I click Test, the worksheet will update based on the condition where height is greater than or equal to 150 and weight is greater than 50 kilograms. My output is set to New Workbook, so when I click OK, I will get a new book with the results. I could now query data from this book. Again, select Worksheet, Worksheet Query. This time, let's look at age. So I'm just going to move over age into the alias box so I can add some condition. So let's look at age of 14. So where age equals 14, hit OK. Let's highlight those rows. We see we have those three rows. If I wanted at this point, I could even click Close, and those columns and rows in the worksheet will remain highlighted. And then if I was interested in just removing those, this is a handy way of doing that, you can just right-click at this point and say Delete. So this shows an example of how the dialog can be used to select some data based on the condition and then remove those rows. Of course, in this case, if we knew ahead of time we wanted this, we could achieve the same result by going back to our original book, opening up the query tool, and adding that condition. So we set an AND based on age, where age is not equal to, in this case. We want to exclude those points. If I hit OK to get a new book, and then I compare this book with the first book I got, you'll now see we have identical data. Let's look at some other options, and we can look at either one of these books now, do some further querying. We could generate two new sheets, one for female and one for male. So if I click on Worksheet Query, we want to look at gender, so I'm going to move that over to the alias box. And I'm going to delete this condition here. So when gender is equivalent to, equal to, this is text, so we put the quotes, female. What we can do was, we can even fill that with a certain color. Now let's take that and extract it to a specified sheet. Actually, we're just going to do, yeah, if we do specified, we can give the sheet a name. So let's call it female and hit OK. So now we have that data. We can go back here and change our condition to male. Let's set a different color. And then go ahead and extract that to a new sheet. 
so now we have that data here. And there's other things to do. One last thing really that we haven't talked about is this option here of adding a column of 1 and 0. So we can say let's do a condition based on age again. So if age is greater than 15, let's say, we can add a column here. So greater than 15, so it doesn't include this point, but then for these last three data points here, the condition was met, so we create this column with ones here. And when it's not met, it's zero. So the query tool provides you with many options, and it's a very handy dialog for entering in some conditions and generating data based on that. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.